Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Angel Kim. It has been revealed that a foreigner who had been under self-quarantine in Jeju secretly left their site of quarantine. The Indonesian expat arrived in Jeju on June 22nd, and despite a mandated self-quarantine period even after testing negative for COVID-19, illegally left for Daegu on the 6th of last month. They turned themselves in on July 13th after the immigration office began a follow-up investigation and their location was secured. The Ministry of Justice imposed a fine and deported the Indonesian national. The unauthorized departure was not detected by the Jeju quarantine authorities and the province only became aware of it the next day, revealing the lack of management of the self-quarantine personnel. According to an early announcement made by the province on the amendment of the Ordinance for Tourism Promotion, new tourism accommodation businesses in residential areas of Jeju Island will not be permitted. Accommodation businesses in Jeju's designated natural green zones will also be limited to an area of 10,000 square meters. Although these measures were made to restrict the oversaturated tourism lodging industry, the legislation excluded the banning of new lodging businesses in eco-friendly residential areas. The province will be receiving comments and opinions on the matter until September 1st. Currently, there are about 73,600 rooms in 5,840 different accommodation businesses in Jeju, which is analyzed to be oversupplied by an average of 27,600 rooms. Jeju Governor Won Hee-ryong requested lawmaker Kim Young-bae, who originally initiated an amendment to the Police Act, to cooperate with the decision to create a special clause to help retain Jeju's municipal police force. During a meeting with Representative Kim on the 12th, Governor Won questioned the effectiveness of a sudden change to the system and emphasized the need to preserve the Jeju Municipal Police. He requested that they make a joint effort in revising the law. The governor also requested that the Revised Police Act and the Police Officials Act include a special clause on Jeju so that the Jeju Municipal Police can be preserved. Representative Kim reportedly said that instead of giving an immediate answer, he would carefully review the situation. The Puyong Land Development Project, which had been stalled for a long time, has been removed from the Investment Promotion Zone. The province held a free international city comprehensive review meeting on the 12th and approved the original plan to remove the Puyong Land Development Project from the Investment Promotion Zone. Puyong Land was designated as an Investment Promotion Zone in 2013 after it made a commitment to build a water park and a horseback riding course in the Chungmun Tourist Complex. However, no progress has been made in development even after the official business period ended last year. With the decision to take away the Investment Promotion Zone title, the province plans to collect payments from Puyong land, including acquisition and property taxes, which had previously been exempt. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E-News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great evening.